Yo, I want to show you how to make a winch. Let's open the microcontroller editor first and give our microcontroller a name. I'm going to call mine winch. Now we need six logic nodes for this setup to work. So let's extend our width to three. In the logic tab, we can start adding our nodes. The first node I'm going to name is comp in and change the type to composite. Add another node, name it comp out, change the type to composite and change the IO to output. Add another logic node. The following logic nodes are the winch controls, so I want to match their names up with what we see on the winch. The first one I'll name is winch up and change the IO to output. Then we need a winch down and change the IO to output again. Add another and this will be the winch signal, which is used to say turning off a maggle on the end of an anchor. And remember to change the IO to output. And the last node we'll add, I'll name this one winch length and we'll change it to a number type and the IO will leave as an input. So let's quickly move the nodes around on the schematic so they don't overlap. Now we can go to the logic editor and I just want to move these around so that the solid dots are on the left side and the open circles are on the right side. And now I'm looking for some composite read on off blocks. I want three of these and I want to put winch up output on channel one, the winch down output on channel three and the winch signal on channel four. This will make a bit more sense when we put the instrument panel down. So we just need to connect up the red dots which are our on off signals. and connect our comp in node to these composite read blocks. Next up is the composite write number, and I'm connecting the comp in so that there will be a composite chain running between the instrument panel and the microcontroller. We add the which length output to the comp write number, and we'll change the start channel to two and leave the channel count as one. Now if we bring this comp out down and plug it into the composite write, everything is hooked up now, so we can save, new save, and name it winch so it matches the microcontroller name from earlier. I've made this quick hull to show how a winch can be used to make a ship anchor and use all the functions we've added in the microcontroller. So here we've got a medium winch and a little anchor. So let's add the instrument panel and I'll put it on this little post. And add the winch controller we made onto this platform. If we take a quick look at the merge tool, we can see that the platform is the same grid as the hull, red being the main body of this vehicle, and the anchor is on a subgrid. This is just important to note because if the microcontroller isn't on the same subgrid as the winch, this won't work like how I'm showing in this example. Now we can configure the instrument panel. So for instrument one, I'm gonna name this winch up and change the type to an arrow button. It's already facing up in the mode I'll leave as push, and the channel it's already on channel 1, so we'll just leave it how it is. Now instrument 2 I'll name winch length, change its type to a gauge, set the minimum value to 0 and the maximum value to 40. This is because the medium winch has a max length of 40, and I'll change the channel to number 2. For instrument 3 I'll name this winch down, and change the type to an arrow button, and change its direction to down and then the channel to channel three. And finally, instrument four, I'll name winch signal and change it to a flip switch, but this could also be a button and set it to channel four. So this is why I had the input and outputs in the microcontroller a bit out of order. It just makes it a bit easier to keep track of which instruments are on which channel. Now we can hook up the logic. First, I want to connect the microcontroller to the instrument panel and then the instrument panel back into the microcontroller. So now the composite signal goes around in a loop, which is how it is sending the on off signals and also reading the winch length at the same time. So first I'll connect the winch length, then the winch down, winch up, and winch signal, which is just labeled on off on the winch. Now we should connect the rope logic between our anchor and winch. And we also need to connect the electrical anchor block on the ship anchor to the maggle toggle node. Now we connect all the electricity. The maggle needs to be connected to the electrical anchor and electricity will run across the cable from the winch to the anchor when the vehicle is spawned. And now we can spawn this in. So here's my ship. The winch goes up. 
the links is reported it also goes down and the flip switch turns the maggle off and on so yeah that's how to make a winch